Panicking at the disco is never good. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of the Fool! Today on the menu is Sheep Raider, based off a very classic Looney Tunes short. Where a coyote, who looks suspiciously like Wily e. Coyote, tries to get sheep, and the sheepdog tries to stop him. You know, you would think the sleeping sheep would be him in disguise, but nope, apparently he's not that clever. Alert! Alert! How'd the sheep get out of his hands? Looks like your schedule is off. It implies that they just do this for a living. Evening, Sam. Evening, Fred. It's like a daily job. Huh. That logo looks familiar. They've been around a while, huh? Or at least were. Info games. I think they actually made the GBA port of Doom. Or at least they made some Game Boy Advance games. Hello, and, and you welcome be? to the Sheep Dog and Wolf Show, or as I like to call it, Who Wants to Be a Sheep Stealer? Listen, bub, all you gotta do is relax and play the game. I gotta use this gig to catapult me to superstardom. Now the aim of our game is simple, to steal sheep. He already does that. So not much is going to change, is it? You will go through a series of levels. At each of those levels, you will have to steal a sheep from Sam's sheepdog and put it in the goal. If you succeed, you may proceed to the next challenge, and so on, until you finally steal the entire flock. But, and this is a big but, the sheep must be intact at the end of each level. You'll be disqualified if any of these sheep are missing so much as a thread of wool. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Hmm. You can't eat any of them. Okay, don't panic. I, as a consummate professional, know how important it is to rehearse. This is your big chance, and you don't want to blow it. Besides, I'm the one who explained this game to you, and if you don't do well, how's that gonna make me look? Not so good, that's how. So go ahead, practice! Thank you, good sir. I get the feeling I'm gonna need it. Let's go ahead and unlock the frame rate. Just to make this load faster. Because it's quite a load. Let's go for the Acme Training Zone. Level not completed. Except. Why not? Let's go into practice mode. And of course, skip through this cut, this loading screen again. How nice of them to give you a practice mode. Guess that means the game's not going to be effortless. As long as I know where the dog is, I'll know how to get around him. Attention! Extended use of this game can drive even the most serious people crazy. I'm already crazy. Are you sure you want to play this game? Yes. Why didn't you give me an option? We warned you! To start, cross the white line. What the? Okay then. Game over. It's not bad to say. Okay. Oh, that didn't work too well. Follow me and I'll explain a few commands. Thanks, Daffy. That was great. Already starting with a fake out. First things first, how to use the camera. Okay. 
Does it have dual analog support or no? I'm right behind you. Just use the L2 and R2 buttons to move the camera. Okay. You got it, friend. Now I'll hide up here. If you want to find me, keep the inside view button pressed down. Inside view. Okay. That takes to a first-person view so that you can look around. That was rather common in games of this era. That didn't have dual nice analog. Nice going, bub. These commands will come in handy if you want to look around. Indeed. Thank you. If you want to follow me, and who wouldn't, use the jump button and just do what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'll definitely follow you. Let me tell you about it. Ooh, it's a video game tutorial. If you want to jump higher, press the button a second time when you are at the highest point of your jump. Works like a charm. Double jumping? Now that's just crazy talk. Who ever heard of double jumping? That's just insanity. <laughs> Might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap? Okay. How would I do that? Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> well, that was just delightful, wasn't it? <laughs> that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Oh, I do crack myself up. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you want to be good at this game, you'll have to use the old noggin. Come on, follow me up to the road. Okay. Yes, sir. Now let's play things seriously this time. Flying leap my hide. Hey, how about a little race? You want to know how to win? When you cross the starting line, you'll get a limited amount of time to finish the race. To do this, Press steadily on the run button to increase your speed. If you run fast enough, you'll be able to stay suspended in midair for a short period of time. This will come in handy to get over precipices. Fancy word for cliffs. Thanks, man. Sweet. Let's take a run. This is easy. Watch him run into a cactus. Oh, right. Okay, that works. Crap, the Red Runner's getting ahead of me. You're not gonna get ahead of me, you freaking bird. Oh, that was just rude. The game is really being tricky now. Uh-oh. Didn't quite do it. Guess I should probably try that again. At least this time I'm starting from the top. Come on. I know, man. I, I know I can do better. I can always do better. We can always do better. As human beings, we can always do a little better, you know? I see this game uses LODs, which is pretty impressive for its time. Well, sort of. It uses something resembling LODs. This time, don't follow the Roadrunner be to your death. The Roadrunner's a trickster. You don't want to be tricked by the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner is a jerk. Okay, there we go. There you go. That better? I knew you could do it. You'll probably be able to challenge Roadrunner later in the game, if you're up for it. Wow. Okay. Whatever you say, man. To help you steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog, you will be given several objects. But okay. wait, there's more. You also got to know how to use objects in the background. To really? open the gate, the red button has to be pressed. Just jump on the first seesaw, and the big rock will throw you to the other side. 
Then jump on the second FIFA to launch the little rock towards the button so that the gate remains open. Confused yet? Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's a confusing mess, all right, but I'm sure I can handle it. After all, I'm a pro gamer. Hello, oh, that fun. Okay, gotta wait for the camera to stabilize, you know? Freaking. The camera is your worst enemy in third person games. Maybe that's one reason why I love first person games so much. Because it seems like it's much easier to get the camera consistent in first person games. You don't have to worry about where the camera's gonna end up. Listen. If you want to get cheap and make a plan, you have to use your inventory. Really? First, press the select button, which will show you the level's map and the objects available to you. Awesome. To get an object, you have to order it by opening a letterbox. If you want to know in which letterbox you have to order a specific object, Select it in your inventory, and a red circle will appear around the litter box, which means it's yours. The objects drawn in white are the ones you can find in the level. The colored objects are those you already collected and can use. And if that's not enough, you can also look at the object's user guide for instructions on how to use it. So come on, try out your inventory and order an object from a litter box. Today. Thanks. Batteries not included. Thanks, Daffy. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's do it. Uh, validate. Oh, I see. What the hell? Frame rate limit. Okay, the frame rate limit is on, but for some reason it's uh. The rocket is a very useful item that helps you to fly. The X, the cross button helps you take off or to eject. Use the circle button to accelerate. The blue gauge shows how much fuel is left. The red gauge inoidates. I don't. I can't even read that. Indicates. Sorry, I didn't realize that was a D and not an O. How many times you've touched the scenery? Watch out and don't touch too often, or you might explode. Kaboom! That's just lovely. Okay. Dang it. Now how do I... How do I order it? Maybe, who knows. Order. Ah, maybe right here. That's nice. Take. Excellent. Okay, now I can probably use it. Validate. Oh, here we go. Use. Excellent. Nice. Well, that wasn't very smart of me, now was it? I should probably wait for instructions first. I'll validate it, and then use it, and then I'll see if Daffy has anything to say. Probably not. Maybe this time I'll just try to stay on top of that thing. Oh, jeez, okay. I think I'm understanding now. You can actually fly with it, of course. Everything is making sense. I just have to not press cross again. I keep wanting to say X, but cross is more appropriate because that's a shape. You know? X is just a letter. It just sounds weird. Okay. Don't slam into the sides too often or you might explode. That'd be really inconvenient for you. Of course, running out of fuel would also be inconvenient, but that's not going to happen for a while. Don't have to worry about that, probably. Just have to worry about keeping steady. Slow and steady wins the race, I've always been told, but who even freaking knows anymore, man? I mean, fast and steady would be better than slow and steady, but I suppose not everyone can do that. In fact, probably not very many people can do something like that. That probably requires you to be very skillful. Of course, I'm not claiming to be someone who is. Here's the sheep. What do you know? Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 good for you. Don't forget that to finish each level, you must be in the goal with the sheep. 
In fact, you have to both be in the goal, or the challenge doesn't count. And that would be despicable. That's messed up, man. You know what? I'm curious what will happen. Okay, making sure it's saved. What will happen if I just destroy the sheep? I'm just gonna throw him over the cliff. Is that okay? Or I'll just throw myself over the cliff with the sheep in it. What? How'd I end up all the way back there? That was weird. Oh well, don't even question it. Okay, be careful. Nice and easy. Heh. <laughs> oh. If the sheep falls, then you have to go back. I was hoping to get reprimanded for destroying the sheep. Well, slaughtering the sheep. Slaughtering sounds cooler. Well, I did it. I have proven myself with a tutorial level. I should only be so proud, huh? I won! I guess it counts as one of the sheep. That's nice. Meh. <laughs> wow. And one more victory! You, I think you mean the first one. Also, nice reflective floor. That's a nice effect that I just now noticed. Bonus. You have zero points. Well, that's wonderful. So it really didn't count. At least not for that. Look at that. Look at all those characters. Hey, Muggsy. Tell this creep to quit staring at me or my clone. So, there's like four of me. In, there's like five of me in here. Sadly, Muggsy, I don't think Muggsy's even here. Actually, I miscounted. There's freaking seven of me, Muggsy. Where are you, Muggsy? Oh, I give all I give up all my clones if it meant having one of you again, Muggsy. I have nine of myself now. I clearly don't know how to count. Either that or I'm multiplying, Muggsy. Let's see, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine of me, Muggsy. I don't know how to count. Clearly. Look at that. You can actually see the camera. That's interesting. The camcorder view. That's so nice. Anywho, let's go to an actual level. Level not yet completed. That was level zero, now for level one. Actually complete a real level. This one's not gonna be so easy because Sam's actually gonna be in it. I'm gonna have to trick him. Luckily there's so many sheep that surely he won't miss one of them. That's probably the coyotes logic right there. Hey, buddy. I'm back. Listen, if you don't want to be seen by Sam Sheepdog, here's some free advice. First, when you see this icon appear, it means that you are close to Sam's area. The icon helps you see where Sam is looking. If it's in front of you, it means that Sam is looking in your direction. When the icon is green, it means that you are close to Sam's area, but the good news is, he can't see or hear you. When the icon is orange, it means that you're in Sam's area, so be quiet, and everything will be okay. When the icon is red, it means you're in big trouble, pal, cause Sam saw ya, and you'd better get out. Your best bet is to press the stealth button. If you don't, Sam will hear you when you enter his area. Thanks, man. Thanks for the tip. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Look, we're just gonna have a folded arms off. Fair enough. Okay, then. So. Oh, I see. I was about to say. I need to do this nice and carefully. Taking the direct approach is sure to get me spotted. You know? Let's order something. Nice. Dynamite. Dynamite with a laser beam. Guaranteed to blow your mind every time. If you have used your dynamite, you can come get another one here. Excellent. There's this there's the little dog now. 
Oh, some of the sheep are sleeping. Those would be ideal ones to grab. I would assume. You don't want the sheep to go bang and freaking out and everything. If you get one that's already asleep, well, hopefully the other ones won't freak out. Hopefully the other ones are, they just, they're too distracted. Watch out, dangerous bridge, one person at a time. So, if Sam tries to chase me up here, that would be very bad for both of us. Fascinating. What the? Porky. Hey, Porky. Hi, I'm a farmer, Porky. I hear you're trying to steal Sham's flock. Good luck. I grow all kinds of vegetables, and I know Sam's sheep well. For instance, I know you can lead a sheep if you show it some lettuce. If you do this, you won't have to carry them. Come back with your sheep, and I'll show you how to use the leafy vegetables. Thanks, Porky Pig. You're always good for me. Kind of funny, too. Okay. There's only one that's directly behind him. If I can just take this sheep, everything will be a-okay. Yeah, if I'm in his area, I better watch out. Okay. Luckily... Luckily, Sam was not alerted to me picking it up. We're good. There. Everything is good. Everything is going me. Okay, Porky. I got your sheep. I was clearly doing this for you the entire time. Uh, you, you managed to take your uh, sheep from the uh, flock. Uh, well done. And uh, now, I'll show you how to use the uh, uh, lettuce intelligently. It's the uh, Sam sheep. Uh, that you love it. All you have to do is uh, leave some next to its uh, sheep. It'll go toward it all on its own to eat it. But be careful not to place your lettuce too far away, or it won't be able to see it. To know whether you're close enough before putting the lettuce down, it's to check whether this icon is displayed. You can also place bits of lettuce all along the path. The sheep will move from a bit to a bit, but don't place them too far apart, otherwise the sheep may stop on the way. So, don't forget to check for this icon before placing any lettuce. It'll tell you whether it's close enough. Does any of that make sense? Are you following me? Do you get it? Because I get it, don't. I get, 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 get it. Sorry, I had to. Okay, I'll just grab them all. Alright, sheepy. Hey. No. No freebies. Sorry. But no freebies. You want some lettuce? You want some le 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 lettuce? You're gonna have to f f f follow me. Hey. Sheepy. Excellent. This is working out splendid. Splendidly. Okay. No problem. Okay. Crud, I didn't get enough of them, did I? Darn. This could be a problem. Uh-oh. Oops. Yeah, that's why you need the lettuce. I didn't have enough of them. Oops. Good thing it, uh, seemed to save state my progress. I'm happy for that. I need to get a lot of lettuce. A crap ton. As many as I can possibly carry. Luckily, Sam was too stupid to notice the sheep that was behind him. It's always the one you don't expect. You know, I could just carry the sheep straight to the bridge. That'd probably be easier. Unfortunately, then it would start running into the bridge and be a problem. But, you know... Sometimes you gotta break a couple bridges to make an omelet or something to make a, a cheap omelet. Okay. The first one will, of course, be near the bridge, so hopefully it will be too busy eating the, the initial one. Too much care. To go to the next one right away. There. 
There we go. Everything is coming at me. Come on, sheepy. Eat the lettuce. Oh, wow, look at that. It is LODing like mad. The sheep is too far away that it's LODing. Did it, is its AI being disabled or something? Crap, I can't see. Right, I gotta do that. What the? Is the sheep not coming? Hey, sheep. Here you go. Okay. Uh, sheepy. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. I guess I'll just wait for the sheep from here and hope that it sees each pile of piece of lettuce because I can no longer go across that bridge without putting myself in mortal danger, you understand. You understand, right? Everything is fine, though. Uh oh, what's that sound? Eh, everything's fine. Sam doesn't suspect a thing. Even with me shouting out loud my intentions. Okay, everything's fine. Hey, Daffy, I got the du I got the sheep. Where's the goal at? Hello, friend. I found it. I found the sheep. Where do I find the goal at? What do you want to talk about? Other stuff. If you get lost, use your map. It'll tell you what objects you're missing. Then, have a look at their user guide to see what you can do with that stuff. If Thanks, it's man. explanations you're looking for, the characters you can talk to are indicated by a question mark. Thanks, Daffy. I guess it's not enough to take the sheep. You also gotta go to a certain goal. Now that I'm remembering properly. I didn't have to double jump by a long shot, but... I sometimes panic. Panicking at the disco is never good. What's this? What the? What's back here? Oh, look at that! It's a timer! Time clock activated and you win a bonus point! Nice! I hope that doesn't bring Sam coming this way. That would be very unfortunate. Considering his sheep is between him... Well, unless he just jumps across the waterfall or something. That would be weird. Anywho. I think you... There's dynamite that I can use. Maybe... Oh, right. This is the goal. Should have known. Dynamite comes in handy for clearing passages. Dynamite takes a bit of time to exploit after you set up. Be careful. Don't stand too close to it or you'll get a lot of smoke up your nose. Oh, that's... That's good advice. Kaboom! But tick tock, tick tock. Four, three, two, one, blast off! Excellent. I don't need any more lettuce. I got the sheep across the bridge, and that was the whole point of it. At least I'll beat one legitimate level. Besides just the tutorial. I'm about out of time anyway. There you go. I am Winar. I am Winrar. Sheep, dog, and wolf. That's another despicable victory. Gotta love it. One less sheep to go. It's actually pretty fun. Fantastic! Oop. Our contestant needs quiet. QUIET! Huh? Okay. I don't have enough time to go through another one, although I could give a sneak peek. Oh look, it's Spike in several places. Sylvester in several places. Foghorn. Speedy Gonzales. The Witch. They did something weird with her in the new Looney Tunes show. I don't know why they made her sound like a be real cliched black woman. It seems kind of weird. I mean, it's their choice, but it just doesn't seem fitting. Whatever their decision. But hey, if they want that crazy, 
which to represent. Hey, forget it. What matters is that I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like sheep. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. Okay then, and have a nice and pleasant day. Okay, I just have to push it. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.